is it safe to live in a car in Indonesia? I mean, in terms of staying overnight on a roadside, not at a camping ground. Let's try. We are now in Bedugul, Bali. It has been rainy all day, so the temperature is quite cool, around 22 degrees Celsius. So we decided to park on the side of the road and sleep there for the night. This is the sound during night time. You can hear the sound of passing vehicles and dogs barking. If you can tolerate this sound, then you can sleep nicely like us. We didn't put the mosquito net, but there was no mosquito biting us. We covered the windshield with aluminum bubble, so we won't get disturbed by the light from the vehicles passing the road. We woke up in the morning as the dogs bark. Maybe because there were people coming to see the lakes. Did you hear the barks? Not so bad, right? Actually, we feel safer because we don't have to check outside to know if somebody is coming. We know it from the barks. Every morning, we need to deal with condensation as we sleep inside the car and our breath makes the temperature inside the car warmer than outside. We will try to use moisture absorber in the coming days and we will let you know if it works. Oh, please let us know if you have a solution to get rid of this condensation. This should be a common problem for everyone living or sleeping in a car without air conditioner, right? We are very lucky to get access to sink and clean water. This place is actually across a restaurant, and they built pavilions across the road so their guests can enjoy the view of the lakes while eating and drinking. We had our lunch and dinner at this restaurant the day before, so we asked the staff whether it is okay if we park there for the night, and they said okay. So this morning, we got water to brush our teeth and to wash our face. As the additional bonus, we can enjoy the beautiful view of the lakes in the morning breathe the fresh air and for no cost. They call these lakes as twin lakes, Buyan Lake on the left and Tamblingan Lake on the right side. The elevation of our viewing point now is quite high, so seeing the cloud below us is quite amazing. So back to the question, is it safe to live in a car in Indonesia? For now, we can answer yes. It is safe to van life in Bali and in Java Island. We tried staying overnight at gas stations, roadside, rest areas, and we can say that we feel safe, we slept well, and so far all good. Next, we will continue the road trip to West Nusa Tenggara and East Nusa Tenggara. We'll keep you updated on how it goes. So stay tuned, consider subscribing and activating the bell to get notified when we post a new video. Thank you for watching and see you soon!